pick a card reading now today we're going to focus on what is coming next in matters of the heart right what can you expect when it comes to love now this is a general and timeless reading whenever you find it you were meant to find it and uh, just take the bits that resonate with you and leave the rest behind for somebody else this is not going to resonate for everyone out there all right now uh, i did put a little clip of me shuffling the cards right before this one i'm going to fast forward it so you don't waste any time and there will be timestamps in the description box down below for each pile as well as the shuffling and the spiel uh, i've decided to use all shapes and sizes of the rider weight i feel like i finally have the entire collection so i thought it's, it's a good time for me to put it to use now the first pile has a multi-fluoride heart the second pile has a flower agate heart and the third pile has a moss agate heart all right so take a minute if you need to pause the video and pick your pile i will see you in your reading so if you picked the multi-fluorite heart or pile one this is your reading i'm going to start off with a couple of oracle cards just to get an overview and then we will see what the cards want to say all right we have shadow and guides number 43 and number seven shadow is very saturnian energy um, it can represent pluto as well but this is technically the devil card right capricorn energy uh, i could also see this as scorpio no offense to any of those signs this these are just archetypes that we all have within us because we all have all the different signs in our birth chart right now with guides again i'm getting very aquarian energy with uh, the symbol right here Pluto has made a generational shift into Aquarius and this is massive, right? It's been in Capricorn for the last 15, 16 years. So um, I'm glad this reading is timeless because I get to talk about this, right? Um, now that this shift has happened, wherever Capricorn lies within your birth chart, uh, a lot of pressure in that area is going to lift. I'm also getting with shadow and guides that there's an ascension process happening within the collective and particularly within you pile one where you're finding it easier and easier to transmute shadow than you did previously, right? This can be us attracting toxic relationships, right? Attracting bad boys or bad girls, right? Uh, but I feel like your uh, love language, your magnetism towards love is changing. You're only magnetizing healed and whole and complete people into your auric field, which is absolutely wonderful. And I feel like I always talk about that antenna on top of our crown chakra that helps us communicate with the universe. It's wide open, right? There's a little light blinking. It's ready to receive as well as send messages. So if you have been manifesting, um, just make sure that shadow is truly healed, right? We can't completely absolve that shadow that that's absolutely impossible uh, because it is part of the human experience but try not to manifest from this place right listen to your spirit guys listen to your intuition listen to your higher self and make decisions from that from that place all right let's see what we have what the cards have to say i've got these giant <laughs> they're hilarious giant right away cards Oh, right off the bat, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful energy. Let me put this here. The Knight of Swords. Just when I was thinking this can be very slow moving, the Knight of Swords almost balances that out. Wow, pile one. Excellent start, I have to say. The Lovers, something is gaining momentum here. 
Now, I'm not going to focus on past love or future love. I'm just going to say love because I don't know what your situation is, right? At least I'm going to try to not mention the tense. We have the page of pentacles. The hanged man. The wheel of fortune. Oh, that's why guides is here. And we have the eight of pentacles. This is wonderful. Okay, I feel that this ascension process that I was talking about where you are healing the shadows within you, I feel whoever this is coming towards you, past or future, there's a lot of work that they have done in, in the background as well. With the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Pentacles is not the fool, right? This is not an uncalculated risk. I'm not saying you're a risk, but love and that leap towards love is always a risk, right? I feel this person has worked very hard on themselves and they have taken out that time to light up that antenna that I was talking about, just like you have. And while earlier it may have seemed really slow to come in, this Ace of Pentacles, because it is the slowest Ace in the tarot, it, it's almost like a switch, right? The work has been done, the universe is backing this, right? Here they come. Because with the lovers, there is there's a very deep knowing here that this is a soul tie. This is a soul connection. And I feel like this person um, just can't deny it anymore. Sometimes when we are consumed with that shadow, you or this other person that we're dealing with, all of the aspects of the light, right? Whether it's empathy, love, compassion, faith, all of those beautiful words, they take a backseat, right? But when it is time for you to start accepting those things, beautiful things into your life, that's when your guides come in and, and polish you up that, all right, you're ready. You know, it's, it's, it's time for you to leave that gunk in the past and move forward to a brighter future. That is this Wheel of Fortune, something shifting, something changing after a period of stagnation right here. A lot of work has been done. The Page of Pentacles is a small card. I'm not going to lie, right? It is a page energy. It is a childish energy, but it is also the card of the student. This is someone who does the work. Hmm. The Queen of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. The Chariot. And the Five of Wands. There could have been, I am going to mention it, if, if there was a past situation here, there could have been the interference of other people with the Five of Wands and the Queen of Wands. It is possible. Um, but I don't know. I feel that whatever this was external to this connection was part of that shadow. It was part of karma, right? That's why they're called karmic ties. With the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, I see you and this person and the Five of Wands collectively putting to bed things that no longer serve you. Things that cause anxiety, things that cause nightmares as well as daymares. Things that have been speed bumps on your path to victory, to success, ind independently as well as within this connection. This could also be other people interfering in terms of not romantic third parties, but friends, family, right? Different cultures, an age gap. Something interfering in the purity of what this is truly meant to be. The chariot is a very interesting card. I will mention all the signs towards the end of the reading. This is Cancer energy. You see the stars right on top. Now that's the emperor riding the chariot. He has two crescent moons, a star on his helmet and stars on his canopy. Right? And what is he steering? Light and shadow. There is this energy of you and this other person trusting your intuition and being able to differentiate between that and your fear. It can be very difficult to trust our guts when we're very fearful and we're full of anxiety, right? Because they're opposite ends of the spectrum, light and shadow. 
faith versus fear, intuition versus anxiety. I feel that because there's an awareness here with guides and shadow and the transmutation, because there's a healing that's happened here, it's easier for you to separate the wheat from the chaff. While earlier you may have felt nervous around this person, right? Those butterflies. And I always say this, sometimes those butterflies are not really butterflies. They're just anxiety, waves of anxiety that your body is, is warning you of that. All right, this makes me nervous, you know, stay away, stay away from this person. And that could have happened in the past because, well, they weren't the right fit for you. And even if this is not about a past person, this could be about past experiences in your dating history, right? You may have felt those butterflies and those fireworks and then everything just went flat. It's because that was anxiety, right? It wasn't really excitement. It was your body sending you warning signals. But now the butterflies that you are feeling or will be feeling, it's almost like you can trust them because they're coming from that very healed place. The lovers is being blessed by an angel. That's Archangel Gabriel, right? And the shadow, if you're familiar with the original Rider Waite, <laughs> the devil blesses the lovers as well. It's also a winged figure, but it's the devil. It's the shadow. So it's possible that earlier you may have found yourself in these, these karmic ties that you just couldn't shake. You, you couldn't get rid of them no matter what you did. Now you can very easily get rid of them because you've broken those chains. You've learned those lessons. Now you're free to love whoever you want to love. The universe is not forcing it. You know? And with the five of pentacles, I'm also feeling, I still have another row of cards to get to, but let me explain this real quick. The five of pentacles can be a card of you feeling homeless, right? Of this connection feeling like it's homeless. It doesn't have a place to rest. And that could have been because you built a home in a person that wasn't ready to share their space with. But I feel like after all the work that you guys have been putting into yourselves, you've realized that the only home that you need to build right now is within yourself. That is what makes you that whole and complete person. And I always say this in my readings, if you're a regular, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. There isn't another half that's going to come in to make you whole. Right? That's why it irks me when people say, oh, that's my better half. Why? Are you a half? Were you born a half? No. You are not, right? So there's a realization that you are both whole within yourselves. I'm also getting with the five of wands and the eight of pentacles that you are both collectively looking at the things that made you who you are, like your self-concept, your identity, your character, your personality, right? You're studying attachment theory even. If you're a dismissive avoidant or an anxious attachment style or a secure right there's an analysis of self and and the other you're looking at the details at the intricacies of the human experience and that is what is helping with that awareness with that ascension and you're also not pointing fingers i feel like neither of you are there's almost this this energy of looking into a mirror and understanding where you went wrong, right? Taking onus. That is the hanged man as well. This is walking a mile in the other person's shoes. There could be a sense of guilt here as well, either from your side or from the other person's side about how you may have left each other out in the cold. But I feel with the Queen of Wands and the Chariot, there's fast movement forward. I feel like none of you are dwelling in the past. You see the activity that the Knight of Swords comes with. The Ace of Pentacles is a permanent offer. This is not the Ace of Wands. It's not the Ace of Swords. This is not something that comes in and is out of the way immediately. It's there to stay. It's there to build upon. The Seven of Cups. I was talking about a third energy, the Four of Pentacles. 
the Ace of Swords, and the Magician. Wow. There's an honest adult conversation coming in here. And I would trust it because you have manifested it. I would trust everything that you manifest because it comes from a very pure and unbiased place. That's the only manifestation that's ever heard. Right? With the Seven of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, I feel there's an acknowledgement of the fact that either you weren't made a priority or you didn't make the other person a priority or you collectively didn't make your relationship a priority. There are always three energies in love. There's you, there's the person and there's the connection which has an energy of its own regardless of what the two of you feel, right? So I feel like more than the two of you feeling abandoned, the connection felt abandoned. You know what I mean? But with the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, there's almost a holding on to authenticity now. There's a holding on to the truth. There's a holding on to onto facts and logic. It's like you're telling yourselves that this other person, you or the other person, are telling yourselves that they just make sense. They just make sense. Where earlier, it may have felt like things were all over the place. Things didn't make sense. It's like I'm suddenly getting the Four of Wands energy even though I don't have it here. It's like your hearts can rest. I was talking about manifestation and making sure you manifest from not the shadow, but from a place of enlightenment and awareness. Those cartoons that always have a devil and an angel sitting on, on the protagonist's shoulder, right? Flick that devil off. That's what needs to be done here because I feel like the devil has been sitting on both of your shoulders for a very long time in different relationships, in different situations. And knowingly or unknowingly, you've been listening to that devil. It's time to listen to the angel. Two aces in your reading, which is absolutely wonderful. And the Knight of Swords carries this Ace of Swords. I would expect a very swift message. I would expect a very adult conversation, a very mature conversation coming in to offer something very stable and very permanent because there is so much love in this situation. There is so much love here. I should mention um, all the signs I have. I have Pisces, I have Gemini, I have Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Gemini again. That's about it. And Capricorn with the shadow and Aquarius with the guides. I should get you a couple of um, dice just to see what else we can gather from this situation. We have Mars. Mars is the planet of aggression, right? Five of Wands. But it can also be a planet of passion. Queen of Wands. Again, that duality. You have to see where you're sitting, right? All of that drive and that fire that you have within you and this other person. Make sure it's being channeled correctly or it can cause absolute chaos. Right? We have the number 10. Beautiful. This talks about, well, endings. <clears throat> but endings with new beginnings attached to them. There's something here. I don't have the world, but I do have the Wheel of Fortune, which is also card number 10. Something is changing here. But it can only change once you let go of past baggage. After resolving it, of course, this is not about brushing things under the rug. A resolution within your own mind. Don't go looking for closure, right? It doesn't help. Bring that closure within yourself of the past, whether it is past relationships or it is the past within this connection, if we're talking about a past person resolving all of that so you can take a new leap the fool i don't have it here but sometimes you have to talk about the about the cards that don't show themselves right the fool carries no baggage right if you carry that past baggage to the future you're just going to repeat lessons a hamster on a wheel then we have i'm sorry what is that we have virgo you could be dealing with the virgo we have virgo energy here um, you may have Virgo heavily in your chart, 
but virgo energy for me is the sixth house this is day to day taking things one step at a time not being highly critical of of everything not making mountains out of molehills i feel like you've been through much worse than just a separation i don't mean to minimize what you are going through or what you're feeling if this is a separation for you it can be very painful but this is definitely not the hardest thing you've ever been through right so breathe <laughs> take it one step at a time and i feel like both of you will very quickly be able to reconcile and reunite after a lot of internalization and self awareness beautiful okay let's get you some initials to close this off we have the letters b g z p o p again and the letter m these could be your initials they could be the initials of somebody you're dealing with doesn't have to be just a special mention for those of you who've seen your initials here today all right pal one i'll see you in the next one all right if you picked um the flower gate heart or pal two this is your reading just going to get rid of this now i'm going to be starting off with a couple of oracle cards first and i'm going to move on to your spread and then towards the end i will be rolling some dice to get initials and sun signs and angel numbers so make sure you stick around for that right okay both of them wanted to show up we have psychic and transformation wow that is deep this is for me the high priestess and the death card right and very similar to pile 1 um i feel that there's a lot of internal work that has happened and thankfully this is a timeless reading i can talk about this um pluto has made a generational shift into aquarius right pluto is the sign and the planet of transformation it digs deep this is hades right the god of the underworld there's a transmutation of shadow that happens whenever pluto shifts like this pluto has stayed in capricorn for the last 15 16 years now it's moving into Aqu aquarius for the next about 20 right pluto moves really slowly which is why transformation is never sudden right we can have tower moments but those tower moments don't completely destroy everything they are like little wrecking balls that come as reminders that okay this pattern needs to change this pattern needs to change right and once those wrecking balls accumulate they snowball that is when the death card happens that is when true transmutation and transformation happens right and with psychic i feel like some of you are very self aware right you may have psychic abilities you may be healers yourselves right you may read tarot yourselves and i feel like you've done a damn good job of healing yourself as well as whatever connection this is whether we're talking about a future person coming in or a past person we will see what the cards want to say all right now <laughs> these giant giant right away cards we have the eight of pentacles hard work looking at the details looking at the intricacies of something the nine of wands the wounded warrior mm. and judgment oof this is again very scorpionic wow okay there's one thing we need to understand about love okay there's your energy there's the energy of the person you may be connected to and then your relationship the connection has an energy within its own right there's three energies at play and that energy of the connection could have nothing to do with the two of you right because it's your higher selves that are connecting that's exactly what i'm feeling here i feel the two of you may be in the middle of transformations within your own rights within your own lives again past person future person i don't know yet i mean very well could be a past person with judgment but anyway i feel the connection itself has been doing a lot of deep work does that make sense regardless of how the two of you may be showing up here the connection never gave up with the nine of wands 
no matter how wounded the two of you were or how much shadow the two of you were carrying, the connection never gave up. Sounds really crazy, I know, but think about it for a second. It's like, it's going to sound really weird. It's like making a baby, right? That baby has, a connect, has an energy of its own. Similarly, a relationship is the creation of something, of two different energies amalgamating into one, right? So your connection never gave up, which is why we have judgment. There's a redo here. Now, this redo could just be a past, an ex coming back in, or it could be a soul tie that you have in a past life coming in as a fresh opportunity in this lifetime. I don't know, just yet. We will see. Okay. The Four of Wands. For some of you, for a very small number of you, this could be a twin flame connection. Right? Twin flames are very rare. Don't apply it if you don't see fit. They're very rare and very painful connections and you don't want to be in one if you're not in one, trust me. But the Four of Wands is coming home, right? This is your heart finally feeling like it can rest. This is the connection feeling like it can rest. There is something coming back to life here and after a lot of internalization, I feel, um, that needs to be looked at one more time. And I feel like a lot of you knew this was gonna happen with Psychic. It's like your gut was telling you. The Eight of Swords though, hmm, this is my card of daymares, not even nightmares, right? It's like being stuck somewhere where, it, it's a self-imposed prison. This is not someone keeping you stuck, this is you keeping yourself stuck, right? And transformation can do that to you because we are creatures of habit and whether this is me talking about you or the, or the person you're dealing with, it's possible that the two of you had become very independent and that's wonderful, don't get me wrong. But that autonomy um, that, that, that comes in whenever there's a separation, it can become highly addictive. You can become addicted to isolation, right? Because there's no one there kind of um, rocking the boat. There's no one there disturbing your peace. So this change, this transformation coming in of whoever this person is, whatever relationship this is that you are transmuting, it can shake you up a little bit. It can make you wonder a little bit. And again, with the Four of Wands and the Eight of Swords, it's possible that you were so used to running. You were so used to working hard and, and making something happen for yourself when it came to love. You, I'm getting 10 of wands suddenly, even though I don't have it, I have the nine of wands, but a part of you, while the connection was thriving in the ether, in the 5D, right? Very woo woo, but hear me out. While the connection was thriving, you were struggling because ego and bias always comes into play, right? When we talk about 3D. I feel like you were tired, you were exhausted and now that something is coming in very healed and very full into your life, it's almost like you can't trust it, right? You can't trust this. I get that. But with the three of wands, <laughs> it's like you've been telling yourself that ship isn't coming in, it's not coming in, it's not coming in, but you're still waiting. You're still waiting for it to show up, right? And that waiting was worth it. The Hierophant. This is higher commitment. This is heightened spirituality. I feel all the work that has happened underneath the surface, all the work your connection has been doing, right? It's bringing about not just a healed connection, it's bringing, bringing about a lot of self-awareness. It's bringing about heightened spirituality between the two of you independently. That is what is rounding both of you out, where you don't need each other, but you want each other, right? There's no codependency where the Hierophant is concerned. So I feel like your manifestations also may have changed, while earlier you may be manifesting from that unhealed place of, I need a soulmate, I need love, right? 
those manifestations may have changed into well i just want happiness i just want joy and that requires an, an immense amount of faith in the universe because i call this umbrella manifestation because you're just putting an umbrella over your over your wants and your desires you're not being too detailed about what you want right i feel like a lot of you have just started manifesting peace and joy and love is one of the sub categories and the universe realizes that it understands that frequency even though you're not saying it out loud so this hierophant is almost like a stamp of approval from the universe that right this is what you wanted here it is and it's not going anywhere right the hierophant can also be a card of marriage doesn't have to be you don't have to believe in the institution of marriage not many people do but either way this is long term commitment let's see what else we have oh my god i swear to god i was thinking of the ace of pentacles i'm not joking pile one had this as their first card and i was going to mention it but then i was like i, I don't want to keep talking about the other piles you know what i mean but i i was literally visualizing this in my head that this is permanent whatever this offer is whether it's coming from the universe towards your connection or whether it's coming from the other person in the 3d it's permanent it's not going anywhere it carries a whole lot of staying power you know seven of pentacles the seven plus the ace makes the eight right divine timing there's something about the universe puppeting this <laughs> it sounds really wrong i know but it's like the universe has a plan up its sleeve right the ace of pentacles is the slowest moving ace in the tarot but it is also the most permanent but with the seven of pentacles it's almost like it's going to come in when it's supposed to come in right i did talk about pluto um coming in with little wrecking balls so those wrecking balls could have been a part of your life till you started actually healing the patterns that you have been infamous for right so patience is key you cannot make this up i just mentioned pluto again wow for some of you this is going to be one of the most difficult exams of your life when it com comes to love of course and in order to pass this test you need to make sure you are revising which is why the 7 of pentacles is here which is why this is taking a bit a lot of revision needs to happen otherwise you are at a risk of repeating past mistakes let me get the other two past mistakes wow okay look this seven of swords can be you this can be the person you're dealing with it can be both of you the seven of swords has been categorized as a bad card because it's a card of lying cheating stealing right but in the in the right of weight yellow as a color is considered to be the happiest and this is the most yellow card in in the entire deck it signifies cheerfulness why there's a war camp in the background right and it could seem like he's stealing those swords from that war camp but let's ask ourselves why he's stealing them he's stealing them because he doesn't want them to be used against him in the next day the next day in battle and he's been kind enough to leave two swords two swords behind because he doesn't want them to be um without any weapons unable to defend themselves right so there's always two sides to a coin i feel that you and this person have been very you it's like you've been walking on eggshells around each other right and the reason for that is because you weren't supposed to walk around each other at all you were supposed to be in separation you were supposed to isolate that is the star the star in the tarot represents healing in isolation the hermit retreats in order to gather ancient wisdom and apply it into his current or her current human experience sometimes separations are not sent our way because the universe wants to punish us because the universe is trying to show us the mirror that look man this is where you're going wrong you know it can be very easy for us especially when we're hurting to point the finger at the other person 
right or, or to distrust new connections that come our way because of people who've hurt us in the past but that self-awareness with psychic and that self-analyzation of your own self-concept is of paramount importance because if you don't do that you're either always going to be in victim mode or you're always going to keep blaming the other person you know so for this ace of pentacles to truly form roots under the earth to truly become stable a lot of this needs to be worked upon i'm reading for you i'm not reading for the person on your mind keep that in mind here right it can be very easy for me to say that oh this person is fixing their ways and they're coming in towards you and they've done the work i'm not saying they haven't but this is me getting a chance to speak to you as the querent so i am telling you stop pointing the finger okay and this does not apply if you were dealing with a narcissist or someone who would inflict abuse of any kind right it does not apply there then you're most welcome to 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 walk away from this and never give it a second chance this is for people who were dealing with somebody who had a lot of transmutation of shadow to go through and themselves as well right so this is coming in for a do over after a lot of time or spent in healing spent in isolation this seven of swords is staring at me again and i feel like a lot of self preservation uh was applicable here you 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 were constantly guarding yourself constantly shielding yourself because you were afraid right the nine of wands being one of the trump cards in in your spread this man isn't afraid because he's been through battle before and love can be a battle <laughs> think about all of the pain that you have gone through right and think of that pain as as little chains making up your armor and that makes you undefeatable because you're carrying so many lessons with you right so that self preservation that we're talking about it doesn't have to be consciously executed it just resides within your psyche whether you do something about it or you don't it's like your mind is running on autopilot it knows it's like you're not going to touch a flame right on purpose you're not going to switch on the stove and touch the flame on purpose you know it's going to burn you right that's that reflex so it's like your mind your emotional mind has formed that reflex that it's not going to go towards situations that 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 know it's going to burn it so trust that that's your intuition right it's not fear This is not about oh should i touch water or not no this is about should i touch a flame or not this isn't your mind making stuff up is ingrained trust that i hope that made sense oh beautiful the lovers if this is a past connection it it could probably be a soul tie which is why i was talking about your connection as a whole it's like it's it's jumped a few timelines before it's jumped lives before with you independent of you it carries almost a script of its own it carries a pattern of its own regardless of how the two of you are behaving i don't think this is going anywhere anytime soon <laughs> look at the mage arcana here my god the world that's the laurel wreaths right the green and this can also be arborist the snake that eats itself i'm suddenly getting that line from game of thrones what is dead will never die <laughs> because with judgment so many times i mean there's a reason this is being being presented to you again because there's more there's more that needs to be juiced out of the situation oh my god what a phenomenal reading the two of cups i told you there's a reason i was talking about your connection having an entity an identity of its own because it does 
you see that right that's the staff of hermes and those two cups are you independent of this connection that is the collective energy you've created something with each other that transcends timelines oh my god <sighs> that's the third third time this has shown up in a very very small spread judgment again okay i'm going to leave you with one last piece of advice relationships can come back in to serve two purposes one is to help you learn lessons so you don't repeat them again in different relationships away from this one or those relationships can come back because then you're not meant to be separate from them in the first place it's your mind and your ego and your pride both of you not pointing fingers just at you by the two both of you could be getting in the way of a connection that's never meant to break which is why the universe keeps bringing the two of you together hoping that you are healed enough to nurture it to nurture that connection i feel like it's the latter happening with the lovers and the two of cups and judgment three times with the world and the hierophant and the four of wands this is not an ordinary relationship mm -mm. and i feel like the longer you've been in this the multiple lifetimes that you have been in this connection it's helped you develop abilities that you may not have tapped into just yet but once you do my goodness you will realize you're an old soul you will realize that there's a lot of wisdom within you that you just need to unlock because love can teach us the harshest lessons I feel like you've been through your your fair share of them this is coming in for a reason and and i would be very careful about even which pen you are using for this exam right i'm not saying this is the last time oh i dropped a dice okay that wasn't meant to be in your spread it's too far away um about which pen you're using right be very careful about what you're writing on that piece of paper the answers that you are giving to the universe once this does come back feel like it's going to make up i'm not going to say it's going to make or break it i'm not saying it's not going to come back again but right now is is a very highly trans transformational time for the two of you i would make the most of that i grab the last dice too it was right under my chair okay we have the sun interesting this is your 3d right this is your identity your personality right i'm going to see what else we have before i say more we have the number 10 and the number 10 are completions that lead to new beginnings i was talking about your self concept your self concept is almost holding hands with your higher self your 3d is holding hands with the 5d that is absolutely stunning because that is when this transformation will be complete right you're not just functioning from a place of your pride of bias you're functioning from the highest frequency available to you and then we have scorpio you could be dealing with a scorpio you may have scorpio heavily in your chart doesn't have to be but i've been talking about pluto pluto rules scorpio right hades there there's deep transformation happening and i absolutely love it it can be a little difficult it can be a little dark but if you don't appreciate the darkness you will never be able to appreciate the light okay let's get you some initials we have the letters w b f l a m and the letter s these could be your initials they could be the initials of someone you're dealing with doesn't have to be just a special mention for those of you who've seen your initials here today All right pile 2 that was it i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye hello pile 3 if you picked the mosa gate heart or the third pile this is your reading now i'm going to start with a couple of oracle cards i'm going to move on to your spread and then i will roll some dice to get initials and sun signs and angel numbers for you so make sure you stick around for that 
and there's construction happening next door you will hear a drill i tried to wake up really early to record this so i didn't have to deal with that but they started early as well so that was all for naught <clears throat> okay let's see what we have for you pile three we have magic and fire oh powerful number 27 and number three all right so with fire let me mention the signs we have aries leo sagittarius it doesn't mean that you're dealing with one or you are one yourself this is just the energy of love for you right now this is passion but on the other side of the coin it can also mean aggression right this is mars um with magic this is manifestation this is your connection to the ether to the universe this is you manifesting something to speed up is what i suddenly got it's like you're, you're sick of things being so slow and stagnant and i do feel that the universe is trying to inject some kind of activity here let's see we have the emperor i literally just spoke about mars this is aries fire energy the hierophant taurus wow major arcana galore four five oh my god look at the reds okay this is insane i have never had this before they could all literally just be the same people justice libra energy okay this is powerful very very powerful it almost looks like i, I planned this but i swear to god i didn't <laughs> i shuffled in front of you i didn't see the cards wow the emperor is number four, right? This is all things permanent. The four seasons, the four cardinal directions, the four walls of home. While the emperor can be very fiery, it can be an energy of somebody who can be aggressive, prone to that aggression. It is also very stable, right? There's a duality to the emperor, regardless of gender. But with the hierophant and justice, I'm getting balance that you lacked within yourself within love it's coming back online the higher commitment that you may have lacked is coming back online wow okay i'm gonna get the other cards because there's just so much to talk about i want to make sure that i'm catching all the nuances um eight of wands fire communication injecting activity the four of pentacles the four and four with the emperor holding back Ooh, the lovers gemini energy oh my god this reading is strong pluto and scorpio the death card massive change massive massive change happening It almost looks like this is like a cosmic court. A cosmic court that is almost passing a sentence. On the flip side, it could be a cosmic court that's trying to bring in that justice, that, that's overseeing this connection. It's making sure that it's almost, this cosmic court is puppeting. It's puppeting the two of you. Because they know what's better for you than you do. This death card is very important. Because I feel like with the four of pentacles and the justice card, you were both functioning as two separate entities. You were not functioning as one. While that can result in codependency, that's not what I mean at all. It's important to be independent within relationships, but it's also important to create something meaningful that cannot be destroyed. I feel whatever was being created here <clears throat> earlier could have been destroyed with a, with a sneeze. That's literally what I'm getting, especially with fire, that it was highly volatile. There wasn't a staying factor. There wasn't a permanence. I'm gonna get some more cards. This is really, really strong. I'm sure you know what this is. Five of Swords, 
the strength card, more fire, Leo energy, the page of swords. I swear these cards were not placed intentionally. I swear I did not see them. The lovers again. The five of swords, page of swords, four of pentacles, eight of wands, they're all minor arcana, right? This is you. This is you and your free will and your person and their free will doesn't stand a chance against all the majors we have on the table. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight if I count the Ace of Cups. There is a strength to this connection that you may not have realized previously, and the person you're dealing with may not have realized the potency of this relationship feel like you may have both been functioning from a very surface level and trying to take matters into your own hands and oh let's break up let's get back together let's break up let's get back together and you may have felt that it was your ego calling the shots it was you making those decisions mm -mm. it was them the cosmic court was making these decisions for you to bring out shadows within you that needed to be transmuted right to bring out the light within you that needed to be expanded. To make this stronger. It's almost like, you know, when you, you're supposed to prune rose bushes, right? They've worked so hard to, to blossom, but you're supposed to prune those buds. Why? Because you want to make that bush stronger for colder months to come. That's exactly what's been happening here. Now, this doesn't have to talk about just one relationship where you're having problems within one connection, right? This could talk about previous relationships that may not have worked out. You are that rose bush, right? Those buds were being snipped off by that cosmic cord to make you stronger, to make you wiser, to make you understand your worth, to help you magnetize connections into your life that are permanent that cannot be blown away with that sneeze that I was talking about. The strength card is transmutation of shadow. It's taming the beast within. And with the five of swords and the page of swords, I feel like you were just looking at the tip of the iceberg when it came to the lessons that you were supposed to learn in this lifetime, within this connection. There was a lot more happening underneath the surface that you didn't even realize. And I feel like that has to do with your person as well. You may have felt that uh, this person was, well, disappearing whenever they felt like it because they took you for granted or they didn't see your worth or there was another person. You know what I mean? That that's, it's, it's very 3D logic that we apply to relationships sometimes. But with the lovers showing up twice, this is a soul type. This is a soul connection with the cosmic cord overseeing it. This person may have been disappearing because they had their fair share of lessons to learn. And you couldn't have been there to hold their hand. That was their journey. So, if there is a separation here, stop looking at the tip of the iceberg. There's, there's a lot happening underneath the surface. There is an energetic um, spying energy here. And I don't always like to jump on the social media wagon or they're looking at your stories, they're looking at your posts, whatever. That doesn't matter to me. Energetically, you're both keeping an eye on each other. Because like I said, that connection, the relationship in the 5D is, is still whole. It's still there. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups is an offer of love, plain and simple. And it's vulnerability. That's most important. Right? The five of swords is, is self-sabotage. This is a shortcut to success kind of energy. This is your bias, your pride, your ego talking. The ace of cups is pure love. It's pure empathy, compassion for self and others. And it's pure vulnerability. And this vulnerability can only come about after a whole lot of internalization. I was a little afraid of this eight of wands because while it is communication, it's known as Cupid's arrows, right? I was a little afraid of it and because I was afraid of it, the universe said, you're right with the four of pentacles. You're right to be afraid of it because, well, 
whoever this person is needs to hold back just a little bit for now that's what the strength card is suggesting as well holding back just a little bit for now because there's still work happening underneath the surface this is not about oh we broke up yesterday oh i made a mistake we're back together no mm -mm -mm. this is deep reflection within separation because what you are creating here is nothing short of a miracle relationships like these very very difficult to find pile three very very difficult to find find and even create the six of pentacles minor arcana of the justice card the six of pentacles can be seen two ways it can be a gift from the universe it can be equal give and take within a relationship within a connection it can also be you catering to both your inner child and your, and your higher self to reach a state of equilibrium it can also be karmic justice right an evening out a generosity of kindness and spirit within a relationship i feel like that's what's happening because you've both internalized so much the hanged man right the crown chakra lighting up magic only if your crown chakra has lit up can you manifest correctly i always talk about that antenna on top of your crown chakra that helps you communicate with the universe back and forth and receive messages in return right that is magic that connection with the ether it's magic and once you truly solidify that connection is when like i said you can create miracles and i feel like that's what you're on your way to doing it's a jump it's a jump from the 3d to the 5d and this injection of fire within this connection this injection of passion and even a warrior spirit to be honest it's because there has been a stalemate with the hanged man and i feel like you have consistently been patient you have held back when you needed to you've let this person do the work when they needed to you've done the work when you've needed to so it's almost like the universe and the cosmic court is giving you a little nudge that all right you're good to go you know yeah <laughs> you're good to go because you've absorbed this you've absorbed and digested this tower moment the crown lighting up you see it's an epiphany the crown can also represent pride right the emperor it can represent ego that's being shattered coming back down to earth and focusing on what's important not just for your ego self but for your higher self so this cosmic court may have destroyed the house that you were building with this person is because the foundation was too weak to start with now they're offering you a new piece of land that built here it's going to last full steam ahead there's a lot of movement now things may have seemed very slow and very stagnant in love in matters of the heart here pile 3 but that's changing and you see the most beautiful thing here with the chariot this is cancer energy you see the crescent moons and the stars on his canopy right that are, that is the emperor is the emperor riding his chariot trying to balance light and shadow but what is the controlling factor here the north star on his helmet his intuition his crown his faith in the cosmic forces in the divine his faith in the cosmic court have faith that everything that is happening to you is actually happening for you right if things have seemed turbulent or stagnant even the direction that this relationship or love for you in general the direction the trajectory of that it's victorious it's moving towards the light from a very healed and content place wonderful reading wow all right let's see what we have we have the number 5 if you've been seeing triple 5 a lot this talks about change right something new coming in and that's always wonderful right because while we are creatures of habit we can become very comfortable in our discomfort the cosmic court doesn't like that it likes to shake things up for you so you grow and evolve embrace those changes whatever they are then we have mars 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 i've spoken about it enough just make sure you control your anger control your temper don't fly off the handle 
right? Channel that fire into passion and inspiration. And then we have Leo. Wow, there's a lot of fire here. My goodness. You could be dealing with a Leo. You may have Leo heavily in your chart. Doesn't have to be. But this is the fifth house. Five and Leo, right? This is about creativity, romance, play, art, um, dancing, music, dating, right? lighten up just a little bit because i feel like this this death card this tower moment it could have been really painful and really difficult but transmute that darkness and look forward to the light inject that light into your life inject that fire into your life that's what these three want for you as well all right let's get you some initials to close this off we have the letters a h x D, C, T, and I. These could be your initials. They could be the initials of someone you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. Just a special mention for those of you who've seen your initials here today. All right, pile three. I hope this helped. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.